hello darlings welcome back to my channel so this is the part two video I've just finished recording the part one so yes hopefully you've seen that and now you've joined me on part two I did actually quickly have some lunch um, and I haven't reapplied my lipstick so it might look a little bit different from the previous video never mind <laughs> okay so as I was saying before in part one, I was just finishing off with uh, telling you guys about my pets and my pet rats that I absolutely love. Um, and sometimes I do think that it'd be quite funny to have one of the pet rats because they like to sit on your shoulder. Like you can literally walk around the house and they'll just sit on your shoulder. They're like a little parrot. Um, and sometimes I think it might be quite funny to just be doing a normal video like Avon Hall or Victoria Beckham you know collection or whatever video and then when you guys click it and I say hey darlings and I've got like a pet rat on my shoulder I've kind of considered doing that many times before or just to have them like on my lap um, but I thought a lot of people really don't like rats and I, I get that I understand it um, some people have phobias um, so I thought I don't want to freak anybody out maybe I'll do if any of you guys do really want to see the rats because I know some people do love rats as well if you do want to see the rats then let me know and I will do a video dedicated to the rats because I don't want to just bring them in on a random video because I don't think it's fair to people that don't like them. But yeah, maybe I could just do a dedicated kind of pet episode or something, I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, I also mentioned that I was a vegetarian um, and I just wanted to add another fact is that I try and avoid wearing leather. Um, it's really, really difficult because sometimes I buy something believing that it is faux leather or, you know, not real leather and uh, it ends up having some kind of leather element to it. So if it's shoes, it says they're non-leather shoes, but then maybe the insole's leather or something like that. So it can be quite difficult to get things that aren't leather at all, you know, completely, you know, vegan. Obviously you can go on vegan websites um, and, you know, to special stores and they have vegan clothing and shoes and things like that. Um, but sometimes um, I find that a lot of high street stores or online stores do a lot of non-leather shoes you just have to kind of look look out for it really and kind of check in the description what it's made from and things like that um so yeah it can be quite difficult um but i try and do it as much as possible i don't persecute myself you know so if i you know i order some trainers online um and they were just like cheap ones i didn't think they were leather i honestly didn't um and then actually the the outside wasn't leather it was the insole that was leather and i was really gutted because i thought oh, i thought i got some non leather tra trainers um, but I don't beat myself up because I think, you know what, I don't eat meat anymore. Um, I try and avoid leather as much as possible. So I'm doing my bit. You know, we don't need to beat ourselves up. Even if you eat meat, um, but maybe on a Monday, you know, you do the meat-free Monday. Or maybe you eat meat, but you've cut down on eating meat. Um, you know, every little helps. So whatever you can do, um, it just really helps the world. If everybody did a little bit, it makes a huge difference. So another little fact um, another thing about me is even though I am a vegetarian I don't persecute others for eating meat I think a lot of meat eaters think that if if you're around a vegetarian or a vegan that they're gonna kind of um, hound you about it and they're gonna criticize you and they're gonna put you down and they're gonna you know bombard you with facts or try and show you horrible videos and things like that now I have read a lot of facts I have seen a lot of videos but it's not my place to try and tell somebody else how to live their life um, I don't agree with eating meat. I don't agree with killing animals to eat the meat. Um, but I'm not going to, you know, persecute somebody else because they do that. Because I'd be a hypocrite because, uh, you know, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, um, I was eating meat. So I can't be that person to say, you know, I can't be holier than thou and say, you shouldn't eat meat because a couple of years ago I was eating meat. Um, you know, I just like to think that maybe one day they'll stop eating meat and kind of see the light. Um, you know, my husband eats meat, um, and I don't kind of hound him about it. Um, yeah, I just kind of think that, um, it's, it's, it kind of has a reverse effect. If you try and tell someone not to do something, they're just going to go, screw you, I'm just going to eat meat, you know. But if somebody came to me and said, why don't you eat meat? What's the reason? What videos did you see? Like, what facts did you know? Like, tell me more about it. Then I would tell them, but I would never approach somebody and you know try and bombard them with facts and things like that because I just don't think it's fair really okay so another fact about me is I'm going to talk about phobias now so I don't have any animal phobias you know I'm not scared of spiders or anything like that um, but 
I'm scared of heights and I'm also scared of confined spaces so claustrophobia um yeah so I'm claustrophobic and I'm scared of heights so yeah not great um yeah the height one doesn't really affect me that much but it's actually the claustrophobia one that actually gets to me the most because I even feel claustrophobic in um like crowds of people it's not just like people think oh if you're in a lift if I'm in a lift by myself I'm fine if I'm in a lift with a couple of other people I'm okay if I'm in a lift and it's crowded so to the point where I can't move in my own kind of personal space that's when I feel uh, claustrophobic if I'm in a crowd I feel claustrophobic because there are people in front to the side behind and I can't move I can't get through even if I'm in a, a big queue um, in a store or something if it's really really busy um, and there's kind of people in front and people behind and you know sometimes like the queue isn't like very orderly and they're kind of spilling out and it's just like a crowd of people waiting I get really kind of agitated and a bit flustered and you know I don't really tend to go shopping too much um, I do enjoy shopping but I do prefer to go online shopping um, or I avoid the busy shops because I just hate that feeling it just really gets me um, another fact uh, relating to the phobias is I actually had uh, I've had two panic attacks in my life as in proper panic attacks I know some people say oh I'm having a panic attack and they're not having a panic attack they're just panicking like there's a difference um, I've had full-on panic attacks where I've like hyperventilated and I literally thought I was having a heart attack or something because I didn't understand what was happening um, and the first one was actually on that trip to America that I told you guys about in part one and it was actually the Disney parade. This is so embarrassing. Um, but I was 16 and it was the Disney parade. And there was just this huge crowd like watching the parade. And I, being 16, I was shorter. And there was adults everywhere. And there was people taller than me. And I just couldn't see anything. And I was just in the middle of this crowd. And I literally couldn't get out of the crowd. And I just turned around and I was trying to get to the back of the crowd so that I could get out of the people. And I was basically stuck. And I started panicking and I started to get the short breath and I it, I just felt like what's happening, something's happening. And um, I kind of was like, okay, so I'm having a panic, starting to have a panic attack. Um, when I actually burst through the people, I was literally like, <gasps> like could not breathe. I had tears streaming down my face. I literally like felt like I was going to collapse on the floor. It sounds really dramatic, but that is what a panic attack is like. You can't control it. Um, you literally, your chest feels really tight, you feel like you're going to have a heart attack or something. Um, it sounds very dramatic, but that, that is what it feels like. So that was, that was actually my second panic attack. Um, my first one was, I think I was 11, and I was on like a camp, uh, a week camp, like a week long camp. And I was in a canoe, and we had to capsize the canoe into this freezing cold water, and I capsized, and being... You had to like obviously you were still in the boat underneath this freezing cold water and it just I think it was just a shock or something I don't know but yeah I kind of came out splashing and I couldn't breathe again I'm just I was really embarrassed but like, again I couldn't control it so that was a bit embarrassing um, so yeah um, but yeah that's the only two times um, another fun fact about me is actually what I do for a living so I'm actually a beautician um, I qualified as a beautician when I was 21. Um, and I just love beauty, I always have done, and um, yeah, it's just something that I really, really enjoy doing. Um, another fact about me is I'm really, I'm actually quite spiritual, and it kind of shocks people because I'm always, you know, I'm into fashion as well, but I'm very spiritual. Um, I love Reiki, I'm actually qualified in Reiki healing. Um, I love Reiki, I love meditation, I love my crystals. Um, I, if I ever read books, which I don't read that often, but when I do, they're always spiritual books. Um, I just, I like to be quite zen. I know all my videos I talk very quick, but that's because I run out of time. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I like to be very zen. I like to relax. Um, yeah, with my crystals and everything. And my birthstone is amethyst. So I like to have amethyst around me. Um, when I meditate, I have my crystals with me. And I find Reiki is just great for cleansing the body, the mind, the soul, everything. And I just absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, so that was part two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know below. Take care. Bye.